What's up, YouTube? It's Rock Combo, and I'm bringing y'all another subscriber game from Subscriber Night. I'm um, playing a color boy. He took the New York Giants, and I took the uh, Tennessee Titans. They, um, I, I took them because I wanted to switch it up from using the 49ers, and um, I also wanted to try out Chris Johnson and uh, see if I can get my running attack going in this game. And you'll see, uh, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, and, and guys, be sure to stay tuned t towards the end because I have a little announcement to make, and uh, I think uh, y'all will definitely want to hear what I have to say. So, going against the Giants, they have ridiculous defensive linemen, right? Everyone knows that, and so uh, I have to face that. And then my defense, the, they're pretty slow. Like I'm not gonna lie, that they're, they're you know not that good of a team for a reason. Um, as Chris Johnson just got slapped, <laughs> but look at my O line. Look at that little boy run, but he got hurt. Uh, I think this next player, or and he, I don't know why he went out of the game for I think a quarter. And I'm like the whole reason why I'm using the Titans is for uh, <laughs> for Chris Johnson. He's gonna get hurt on me or whatever. But look at this D lineman. Look at look out. Look at this speed, just outrunning everybody. To for a pick six, which is, that's demoralizing. I see. I thought the guy was on a on a streak, and so and he got past the purple zone of a defensive lineman. So I threw it, and right when I threw it, my uh, my receiver cut back to come back to the quarterback. Just bad timing, kind of bad luck, and uh, good play on on his part to to go up seven zero. That's definitely not the start I wanted. But um, so yeah, so they're um. Titans offense just isn't isn't uh, isn't what I like, uh, but you know, it, I'm trying to make do, and I'm trying to um, just trying just trying to work with them and get Chris Johnson as many touches either in the flats or an angle route or running the ball or whatever I can do. So I, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I got an eight week eight week old uh, boxer puppy, and she is precious and awesome. But right now she's hyper as can be, and she's like on my lap trying to get me to play with her. So you might hear. Her growl a little bit but um but anyways let's get back to the gameplay uh you know I, once again i said i'm just trying to hit the hit up the flats and just utilize chris johnson as much as possible and right there i uh do a good job of being able to do that and um and so yeah so it's seven seven going getting close to halftime and i'm he's pretty much in field goal range so i sent a blitz and he did uh and he went for a counter play and kind of kind of just Fell right into the blitzes. So those counter plays are really awesome, especially on shotgun. But if your opponent's sending a, a blitz or a heavy blitz, it uh, will get blown up pretty much every single time. But if if it doesn't get blown up and you can get past the line of scrimmage, that's gonna be a touchdown every time. But look at this unfortunate break he had. Oh man, it hit the bottom of the upright. And uh, so going to halftime, I, I got a little break right there. I haven't played too well. I, I felt like. Um, haven't had too many opportunities in offense, and when I have, I haven't taken advantage of them, turnovers or whatnot. So then I decided, oh, you know, that kind of play is nice that I saw him run. So I was like, I'm going to do it myself. So I run a counter for 80-yard touchdown in the first play. So not only does he miss the field goal, but then he gives up a one-play touchdown to start the second half, which is definitely demoralizing. And right there, look at that. My guy's right there and just doesn't make a play on the ball. Uh, this guy's offense was good. Uh, you know, I don't, he ran a lot of shotgun-type plays. And, you know, it, he definitely moved the ball and got a lot of yardage on me. Um you, as you see, just some nice route combinations and uh, and a really definitely a solid offense. And definitely gave me some fits. And, and <laughs> right here, another defensive lineman just get, just giving me the boot, man. Picking me off, just making me look foolish. I'm like, oh my goodness, man. These guys D line just need to, need to take a chill pill. But I, I sent a blitz on him and uh, was able to get a sack fumble. He lost, like, uh, goes from a second and four. It would have been, like, a third and four to a third and 23. Just heaves it up. A 14-14 game, guys, it's towards the end of the third quarter. So he's definitely been playing me tough. And this is where, uh, you know, it's good to be able to watch yourself play and, and see what you what you did wrong. As you'll see, he kind of he does, he kind of just falls apart towards the end of this end of this game. And that's, a, that's one kind of a big difference between uh, – uh, you know, like when when you play when you play good players, you just can't have too too many mistakes. And this guy, um, this guy, like he throws into coverage a little too a little too much. He needs to uh, if his first reason there, I feel like he'll he'll kind of predetermine where he's going to go before the play. And uh, and even right there, like that shouldn't have been a completion. I really didn't think he was actually going to test me, and uh, but he did, and was able to get the first down, and then hit me up top. For a touchdown, and you know that's that's just how this game works. You know, if you have one of them coverage and he looks covered, you just lob it up and it's gonna uh, it's gonna be completed. He's gonna outrun the defender pretty much every time, unless you have some 
some freak uh, speedy guy back there. But even then, like a lot of times, he will uh, get past him. And, and once again, I hit him with the counter, hit, got a touchdown out of it, and then I got a sack fumble and actually recovered the fumble this time. Go up by seven, then I go up by 14, and you know, with with two and a half minutes left, and he just try, he tries to lob it up again. And he threw it too early, but I had pressure coming in his face, so he had to lob it up. But you need to lob that up probably 10 more yards uh, down down the field, and that's going to be probably completion and probably another touchdown. And so that's just a little mental mistake, and, you know, just be aware of that. Um, so I'm in control of the game, just running the clock down a little bit, making a Hasselback look like <laughs> RG3, but just trying not to get hurt. Um, and uh, then, you know, he... He run commits ride and I ran it left. Just guessed wrong right there. That's just a 50-50 thing. So, so you know, I was able to take control of this game uh, at, late into the game and get another interception. He had a few, like, three turnovers there in the, in the end of the third quarter and fourth quarter. And just can't have that here. If you want to beat, the, you know, good players. And he was definitely a good player and good offense. He just needs to work on his reads a little more and have another dimension to his offense, I, offense, I feel like. And I don't think run committing is the is the, is the thing you should be doing, unless you just know that they're going to run that certain way. So I'm, I get the win and it, good good game color boy. And on to the announcement. So y'all need to follow me on Twitter at Route Combo. And for the next two days, I will be playing. I'm gonna pl I want to keep playing subscribers and uh, for some of y'all I couldn't get games with. So just follow me on Twitter. And I'm gonna tweet out uh, when when you should you should send me a message or tweet me and uh, play a couple of y'all tomorrow and then. Uh, also on Wednesday, I'll play two more of y'all. So definitely stay, uh, follow me on Twitter and, and look out for that message of what to do to be able to play me and hopefully get some good games in. I'll uh, I'll post them on up here. So hope y'all enjoy and I'll see y'all in six. Roll Tide.